Another headline to get to tonight for you. Cobb County's mask protest may be over for now, but it will pick up next week. Watch what happened just a few hours ago. Mask in so we were live at this rally for Channel 2 Action News at 4, 5, and 6 as people on both sides of whether students should wear masks faced off against each other right outside of headquarters. Channel 2's Michael Seiden live for us now on WSB Tonight in Cobb. And Michael, you talked to both sides tonight. And as we saw there and as you're going to tell us, it got heated. Yeah, no doubt, George. All quiet now. But earlier this afternoon, more than 100 people coming from both sides. They all came out here. They were rallying most of the crowd in favor of that mask mandate, but they faced some really tense opposition. Mask in class! Mask in class! In Cobb County Thursday, tense moments outside the school district's central office headquarters where parents clashed over masks in the classroom. You don't hit me in the mouth! You spit on me! On you. There's a bunch of old people who literally, there's no way they have children in the public school system. Care about others. Care about others. The rally began with dozens of parents like Allison Feldman, who came out to voice their support for a mask mandate. We have a serious problems in our schools right now, and we feel like we're not being heard by the superintendent or any of the board members. Allison's 11-year-old son Everett is a student at Dickerson Middle School. He told me that despite a reported surge in COVID cases in the classroom, many of his classmates are not masking up. Do you feel safe when you're at How do you feel? Not very safe at all. Just before the beginning of the school year, the CDC released its new guidance recommending masks in school for all students and staff, regardless of vaccination status. But right now, masks are optional in the state's second largest school district. We all have to do our part and wear a mask until this variant and this illness is actually under control and at not existent in our school. But this group's public plea for a mask mandate was met by opposition. Stop it now! Let our children leave! I'm out here to protect my rights as a parent and the health of my children. I am taking the position for freedom to choose. If your child has immune compromise, they need to be home. Tiffany Lee and David Gray are the parents of two Cobb County students. They told me that requiring students and staff to wear a mask will only have a negative impact on mental health. For my young daughters who are just learning to go out into the world, going into school, making friendships, um, socialization is a huge aspect of education and for them not to be able to see the smile of their teacher or their friends is, is deeply disturbing to me. Michael's back with us now live in Cobb County. Michael, tell us about what you heard late tonight from the district. That's right, George. The district spokesperson actually sent me a statement. It reads in part, we value and appreciate input from our entire community in accordance with a recently issued administrative order by the Georgia Department of Public Health. Cobb's updated public health protocols are intended to balance the importance of in-person learning and the frequent changes associated with COVID-19 along with the concerns from our community. Now, George, I should mention, we reached out to the district trying to get exact confirmed COVID cases. They did not give us that information, but I can tell you that every Friday, so tomorrow, the district does post those numbers uh, to the county website, so we will definitely be taking a look at those. It'll be interesting, especially after we saw that surge of cases over at Eastside Elementary to see what the total numbers look like. George? Michael, you're right, because with that data, it helps parents and families make decisions. Michael Seiden, live for us in Cobb.